All right, guys, we're back down here in the basement for you, and we're in our little stash room here of fireworks, and uh, we haven't done an update video in a long time. We haven't really done a lot of videos in a long time, and I keep saying we're going to do more, but we just get so caught up and get busy that we forget the camera and forget to take you guys along, as we'd like to do that more often, as the next couple days we're going to have probably three videos coming out here in the next couple days. You'll see this one later this afternoon. Tomorrow you'll see an update on what we got going outside and the projects we've been doing out there with what the weather will allow us to do. And then Wednesday, which you'll probably see Thursday or late Wednesday night, depending on when I can get it edited, um, my buddy's coming over with his mini excavator and we're going to dig in an electric line for power out there in the new clear cut. Uh, we're going to put a 110 outlet out there just so we can have lights for party lights and uh, outlet out there for the wedding and stuff like that for that new party clear cut area. So, but today we're focusing on uh, our fireworks stash and what we got in here since the last time you guys have seen it. So, let me flip you guys around and we'll show you what we got and uh, some of the newer stuff that was, uh, I don't think, in the last video. So, let's flip you around and we'll get to it. All right, here are those festival ball single shots that you guys know of. And uh, here's some three inch um, mines. And uh, of course, like I said, my favorite 200 gram cake by Dragon Blade, Memory Maker, 10 shots. Man, I remember when these were $10, they're now up to 14, but I'm sure like everything else in this uh, world, it will be going up, which sucks. But <laughs> here's Party On by Shogun, uh, out of control. Power Blast, these are pretty good right here. And I'll tell you what, th this little Boom Wow red, white, and blue back here, I don't know if you can see it, let me move that pack. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but they've been out for a while now. I'm impressed with those. Picked it up for 50 bucks at Ales, Fireworks in Muskegon. Like I always say, check him out if you're in the area or around or in Michigan. He he's got great prices and uh, he'll do you right. But uh, th them are impressive. You know, I threw them in my family last year, and I could pick them out in all the stuff that was going on. So I bought another one. Um, I just did a Hello Summer, two Hello Summers in that last show I did in my backyard a couple Saturdays ago. Really impressed with that for $18. Um, 55 shots. It's a little mini zipper cake. I'll be getting more of those for the 4th. Them are, them are pretty good here. Uh, we, we're not going to do any other shows, big shows, until the 4th. We might do one for my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. Uh, for their uh, kids' first birthday if they want or something. But we're, we're going to mainly focus on the 4th of July here since firework prices have gone up everywhere and it's harder just to have fun with them, <laughs> as you all know. But Pyro Freak, that is very impressive. My buddy Bill did that one. It's by Miracle Fireworks. Um, huge breaks for a 350-gram uh, cake or 200-gram cake, whatever they call it. It's more of a 350. It's, it's pretty pretty great. These little star stripes and solids, Al's uh, kind of discontinued them because they, they didn't really sell on his shelf, but I'll tell you what, for 15 bucks, uh, these are impressive little cake, triangle shaped cake, uh, 15 shots, It's they're a nice cake, I, I'm impressed with them. Now this eight shot big burst rack, um, that's one of my favorite 200, 350 gram cakes, whatever you guys want to call them, along with Plot Twist, that does some cool effects. If you see those in stores by Shogun, uh, I'd pick up as many as you can afford or, or, or get because uh, that every time this this cake here goes off the crowd you can always hear them you know hooting and hollering and that's that's another crowd favorite along with mine squirrels a uh, great another one now wild stallion 200 gram cake pyro king fireworks um, hard hard hitter for what it is uh, I'll be getting more of those colorful skies raccoons always go red white and blue um, by Dominator is good. These little uh, mini comets are always good here. Shogun and silver ones here. Them are good. The squealer. There's another squealer. I got another squealer up here, which I should move this one down to here. So we have that. This is one left over from the last show. It did not go off. So, which was a bummer because that was good. Along with this brocade bash, which did not go off in the last show. But I'm not uh, upset by that at all, it means because this is a hell of a 200 gram or 350 gram cake, as you call it. Uh, and, it and it almost hits like a 500. Along with these two popcorns, they did not go off. But I'll save those for the next show. They're still good. Nothing wrong with them. So, if they don't go off and you can get them before they go bad, uh, pick them back up because they're always nice to have for the next show if they don't go off uh moving down here to uh, to the 500 grams we got kung pao that's always a good one thriller one of my favorite zipper cakes there light chasers is very very good by window anything by window is good 
of course. And then I got my uh, case of leftover Gold Rush down there and Starry Fall. I got three of those left. That's always a really good cake. Quieter, but good, along with Gold Rush. Um, Lucky Charms, got two of those. Al had them on special. He was trying to get rid of those Tiger Tooth products, which uh, these two cakes are really, really good. I got some bombs bursting in air down there. That's another good cake there. That's by Red Lantern. That's uh, that's another one. And uh, got that one there, along with this one here, and that one there. And uh, God Bless America, that's another good one by Pyro Diablo. That uh, The Road to the Fourth of July is a little faster paced one. I hope Al can get both of those back in stock because these are really, really good cakes with great minds to burst effects. Uh, Riders in the Sky by Fisherman, another good one. Then I got General Sal down there by Pyro Demon. And then over here, we got Don't Mess With Me. It's a two inch no ab along with some three inch single shots. And I'll tell you what, man, these new ones here, Mind Bender, Spread Your Wings, nine shot, two inch no abs. They hit like a three inch no ab. Super loud, huge breaks. I'll be getting more of those if you see them in stores pick them up. I got a case. I used one of them last couple Saturdays ago. Down here, I got a full case of Graham Crapper by Pyro uh, Diablo. I'm sorry, Pyro Demon Fireworks. That's another one of my favorite angled 500 gram cases. That's packed 4-1. Got some slices and mines right here. That will be used in shows. And then I cut that off because that'd be cool to hang in the wall in the barn. And then down there, I got some single shots. And these are a case of um, Chinese lanterns. Um, the neighbor out at the cottage, Corey, gave those to me. And we'll use them for the kids somewhere. And they like them. It's better to do them over the lake because they can be dangerous. We'll take you to the bottom row here. We got basically some uh, mammoth cakes here. Um, and then we got shebang which i was impressed it's by tiger tooth pretty good kick ass by mc fireworks super good down here sorry if you can't see that very good and then powder pig by tiger tooth al was trying to get rid of all his tiger tooth stuff so it was all on special so i picked up all that um while i could and then of course the ignite modules over here i'm gonna get a couple more of those before the fourth but the stash is starting to come around and I got to get down to Al's and pick up a couple more things here before you know it. But we'll be back to work here before you know it. So uh, the funds will be coming in more. And I can um, put more of that towards the fireworks stash as I build here closer to the 4th. But for now, it's not bad. And uh, we're going to keep building on this for the 4th of July. Because we want this 4th of July to be one heck of a show. Um, because... We do love America and we love our country. So I'm going to show you tomorrow an updated video on what we're doing out back where we did the fireworks show and what that's going to turn out to be. That'll be a great area for 200 gram cake shows, 350 gram cake shows, and a couple 500 gram cake shows. We can't do much more out there because of the space, but it does allow us to do a nice 200 gram, 350 gram, and occasionally a 500 gram cake for a show out there. And I'll tell you what, when you do 200 gram cakes out back there, they look massive. So that'll be fun to do shows in our backyard. The bigger stuff like those mind benders, spread your wings, these uh, slices, the single shots, the 500 grams, and, and some other stuff over here, Roman candles and, uh, and all this stuff, them will be out at the lake. But for 200 gram cakes we can do those in the backyard and make a show out of them perfectly the 500 grams and all of them will save for out at the lake where we got more space where we can pull the barge out and uh, really have fun with those and uh this is the stash now it's coming along guys and uh we'll get you another updated video here the next time we come home from ales which should be one of these weekends here not too long but we'll get you a couple more videos out on the channel for the updated on that. And then Thursday, we'll have the mini excavator over here from my buddy from KL Excavating, Colin. He'll show up with that and help us dig a couple more stumps out and dig that electric line in. Can't appreciate that enough. And uh, we'll get you another updated video here, like I said. So three, four videos coming out here in the next week as we get back into the videos. But this is the updated stash. And... Uh, like I said, if you're in Michigan, Muskegon, Michigan, check out Al's Fireworks. He's got almost everything that you'll want. The best consumer-grade fireworks. He's got the Ignite systems. Them are great, great beginner 
and uh, and not beginner. They're great for everybody. Um, firing systems. He's got igniters. He's got it all. So uh, check out Alice Fireworks, like I said, Muskegon, Michigan. And uh, be sure to buy early because who knows, again, what the firework world is going to be doing. But like I always say, we'll see you guys on the next go around. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.